Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Dustin Lukey. During the early stages of Rotary Lights, President Pat Stevens predicted this was going to be a banner year. News 19's Riley Kine tells us why he turned out to be correct as they wrap up this year's display. A display that takes over a month to put together gets taken down in about six hours. But none of it would be possible without the volunteers. There isn't a single person with Rotary Lights that individually gets paid. So volunteers for our project is everything. It just warms my heart that the the hearts of our community are so big and so giving and so gracious of their time and their talents. Volunteers like Sherry Olson giving up her New Year's Day to help the community. It's super fun. I'm sitting here working with a volunteer that I don't know um, that I'm meeting today and just to have that opportunity to do that is um, really awesome. In a time more necessary than ever, Rotary Lights didn't disappoint. Not only from the donations and the, the needs of the food pantries, but I think also for the needs of us as community members, our emotional and our, our well-being is being with family and friends and to be able to still have something to look forward to that we consider to be normal, I think is so huge, especially this year. So great to have something that you could safely do and be outside and I just think so many things have been canceled and postponed. It would have been a really really hard for the community if that would have been canceled or postponed in some way. And neither did the generosity of the community, even in a tough year. We have had an amazing year here at Rotary Lights. Um, we, I can tell you that we passed our budget and our goal uh, seven days before we closed. So the support has been truly outstanding. Volunteer coordinator Sarah Dalkey says the community stepped up tremendously. Without their coming to visit us and without our volunteers and without everyone pulling together, this would not have been such a banner year for us. So from me to and my family to everyone, and we're so appreciative. Reporting from La Crosse, Riley Kine, News 19. And while they are still tallying this year's final totals, through 25 years previous, the event has collected more than 4.2 million food items given to local pantries.